And it's so simple. I mean, it does take a while to cook, but it's so simple to make your own bird. Just use the extra time that you maybe have to wait to do something that you need to do. Uh, basically, I just take a, a pan, and this is a fun thing my mom got me. You just fill it with your own, like, olive oil or whatever and spray. You don't have to worry about any extra chemicals. It's just pressure. I just take my little chicken, and I usually put it breast side down first. I have it in the circle pan just because it's what I had available. But I'll put it breast for a while, let it cook, and then about halfway through, I go ahead and turn it and add spices to the side. So um, you can do whatever you like about spicing it. I kind of like to put a little bit of oil on it. And this is just some seasonings. I took salt, pepper, um, just opened up the cabinet and kind of went to town. Um, ideally, you would want to use, you know, fresh herbs and spices. You can put whole herbs in the belly, of, like in the inside of the chicken, inside the carcass, and it um, makes a great flavor. I'm also going to be using this, like I said, for another recipe, and I'm going to use the soup bones, so I didn't want anything too strong, but these are fun little Indian spices that I get at the Pakistani or Indian grocery, so I went ahead and um, added some of that just for a little bit of kick. Um, fresh garlic is amazing, and so all you do is just peel yourself a little button um, off your pod, and this is a one, of, uh, one type of garlic press, and I just squeeze it, put it on there. It's really strong, so sometimes I don't always touch it, depending if you're going out anywhere. But then I just kind of rub that garlic in. Um, I'm not using a whole lot, but you could use a lot more if you want. Really good extra flavor that's going to kind of get into some of the juices. Like I said, definitely put um, some of this stuff inside the chicken. I'm just doing this part, and like I said, about halfway through, I like to flip it over and put some more in the carcass and um, do the other side, but I like the breast side down first so it gets real juicy and tender. Um, when we were first married, we lived in a tiny, tiny apartment and we only had a convection like toaster oven deal. So what I would do is I would lightly cover it with foil, otherwise the top would burn before it cooked. Um, so if you have a real small or not at such a great oven, go ahead and do that. But anyway, it's gonna take you about an hour or more but really you don't have to do anything to it. All I did was wash it, throw whatever had in the cabinet on it, and boom, it's gonna take amazing. I need to say this because I'm a complete germaphobe, but anything that your chicken touched, that you your hands touched while you were cooking the chicken, you need to spray it down with disinfectant, okay? Any tools or whatever, I use my little sorter thing, um, you know, just anything that touched it, get a paper towel, wipe it down, and make sure that everything's cleaned up because you don't want to give your family salmonella. This is our done bird. You notice that a lot of juices are coming out. You want your juices to run clear and then you can see where I've poked it a little bit here just to make sure there's nothing pink on the inside. Anyway, it looks good. And I don't really know how to carve a turkey, but we're just gonna take pieces off for now and then I'll debone it and use, um, I'll skim off the fat. You can. Um, take some of that fat and with the juices and put it in the fridge or and um, when it gets colder it'd be easier to skim off the really fatty part.